Every day, for as long as he could remember, he had done the same thing. He loaded, then unloaded crates. Then he would load them all over again. He knew nothing else. Nowhere else. One day, he made the very first mistake he had ever made. He dropped a crate. After living alone and isolated for so many years, he had company. His first guest. They could drink tea together. The guest indicated that it had no desire for tea. A cup of cold milk was more appealing. It soon stopped its crying. It came time to go back to work, yet the small guest made no contribution to the workload. They both looked forward to the next tea break. And so days passed, although the crying became something of a discomfort. It soon became evident that his new little friend was not happy and not well. Perhaps it could not leave of its own accord. Then they must leave together. He did not know how far or in which direction he would have to go before he would find someone that could help. He just walked. After many days, a great feeling of hope filled his heart when they reached the boundary of a vast city. He wound his way through deserted streets, following distant sounds of activity. Eventually, he came across a live inhabitant. It shaked and scurried away like an insect. And so he continued until he came into an open square, teeming with life. There set about a great commotion upon his arrival, but something in the crowd changed when they noticed that he was carrying a small crying bundle. From down a side street, a figure dressed in orange began to wave its arms, beckoning with great enthusiasm. And so he followed as the little guides scurried through the streets ahead, finally arriving into a much bigger square. Here, there were many people waiting for him. Maybe it was time for some tea. Don't worry, my darling. You'll be safe now. No need to be scared of that nasty monster. He can't hurt you now. 